stars with Tamika Joy. It's the stars with Tamika Joy. It's the stars with Tamika Joy. It's the stars with Tamika Joy. <laughs> so, yes, come on, send me your challenge. You can rap, you can beatbox, you can play an instrument, you can sing along with me in a harmony. Like, let's do it. I want to hear some creativity. I want to be able to put you on um, because that's what STARS is all about. This is a podcast that is for adults where we get it in and we touch and agree and we make your dreams and your passions come th- come true. So, like, for real, I need all people that are passionate about the arts, always wanted to do something in music, dance, I mean, play an instrument, sing, rap, poetry, anything when it comes to the arts. This is your opportunity. I don't want, I'm not all about, you know, who got the the best hot jam out there and no disrespect you know i want to i'm i serve the underdogs that's tamika joy i serve if anybody knows me i serve the underdog so i want the people that always wanted to walk the red carpet i want people that always wanted to act or uh you know be on a stage and and do broadway i want the people that always wanted to dream the dream and never got an opportunity because Life got in the way. I, I I am that. I am guilty of that. A life got in my way in regards to what I wanted to do. And I just did not want to live a life without doing what I always wanted to do. And I but I knew I couldn't do it full screen, you know, or full circle in front of everyone. I had to go behind and serve and do what I needed to do for my sanity and work with people that loved to do it and could and could do it. So I was always in the background writing, singing, uh consulting for the last 20 well about about almost 20 years because I just couldn't having a whole family, I I couldn't do it. So I'm all about just giving that person an opportunity. So if you always wanted to do something comedian i mean whatever you always wanted to do please call me let me know what it is that you want to do and let's make it happen i mean i have a client right now she always wanted to do it a song she always wanted to record a song so what i did she sent me a poem that she um wrote in her first book and so what i did was I took that poem and I found first a song, a track for her, and then I made her song into, or her poem into a song. So now, after that, I actually went into the studio, referenced it for her, and now Sister Girl is getting ready to go into the studio and record her own song that she wrote. And I'll I'll show her how to get it on streams, how to stream it, how to, you know, protect herself as far as copyrights, everything she needs to do. And she did what she always wanted to do because that's what it's all about. Do not give up on yourself. Live your best life, honey. Girls, boys, guys, gentlemen, kings, queens, you live your life. And don't let no one tell you, especially the enemy, try to trick you to not live that. I believe that you should not live, leave here without doing something that you always wanted to do. So I'm here to be that vessel. So you have no excuses from now. <laughs> None. You have no excuses. So with this, we actually have, um, well, with the show, let me say, we also are really, really strong on mental health. And we know that mental health is crazy and serious right now. And so, so true and so real. 
So what I would like to do right now is call someone and check up on them because that's what we do. That's what you should do. Um, just call and check up on people, man. So I'm going to call someone real quick. And um, I'm just going to say hi. I'm just going to check up on them. So here we go. Can y'all y'all can hear me, right? Y'all can hear me. <laughs> now, of course, any other time they answer the phone, I was like, let me let me let me call one person I know. Always answer their phone, and they not answering their phone. So if maybe I call back again, she'll know it's an emergency. <laughs> She gonna call back when, of course, everything is done. Or if I call someone else, she'll call. I'm done with her. I guess she's doing good. She's doing great because she she must be really busy because she's always on doing something. So, but she'll call back. I'm sure. Let's move along. Uh, when she called back, of course, she's gonna call when when I'm I'm in the middle of. Uh, bringing up our first guest, our first guest, um, because we also talk about not only mental health, but we also talk about wealth. And so with wealth, you know, it's good life. And um, wealth is not always money. <clears throat> wealth is when you just live um, and you're aware not uh, not only of your um just yourself your surroundings and um here she is calling of course i knew it was gonna be when something hey girl hey what you doing watching tv so you ain't answer the phone because i was because you was watching tv i called you uh, twice <laughs> my, my phone was on silent mm, 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 mm. Well, i was just calling to check up on you you good yeah, I'm okay. Okay. All right. Well, stay in touch. Let me watch, let you watch TV. All right. Okay. Take care. You too. Thanks. <laughs> that was one of my best students, my clients. I had to call <laughs> and check up for her. And so, but yes, we are going to get into our first guest um, who is um, a, a health uh, and he does health as well. He has does health, wealth, and um, is big on leaving a legacy. And um, that is why we connect so very well. Uh, our connection is really our frequency vibes a little bit more than the usual. So um, this guest is a friend, my baby daddy. <laughs> my husband, my love, my friend, uh, Mr. Sterling Russell Sr. He is our, our wealth consultant for today. Y'all give it up for Mr. Sterling Russell. Hey, hey, hey. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I, I got to appreciate that uh, introduction. First, I want to say. Can you hear up? I can't hear you. Okay. I uh, can't hear him. Hello, hello, hello. Can y'all hear me? I can definitely hear him. The audience can hear him. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, oh, I can't hear him. Oh, man, that's not good. We are live, y'all. We are live. Go ahead. You can talk. You, okay. Keep so talking. Okay. So first off, um, I want to say congratulations to you. Um, <laughs> uh following your dreams and being able to be in a position where you can do what you want to do, uh, which is, that's what it's all about. Uh, doing what we're um, gifted to do, doing what we're led by God to do. So I just want to say congratulations to you for being able to be in that position and uh, keep pushing. And um, you know how I feel about you. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> But um, so let's get into this. Um, 
I will, um, first of all, let me give my little disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, what I'm going to talk about is strictly for entertainment purposes only. Um, ever since, um, I, I want to say, uh, May of, of 2020, if you call yourself a financial advisor, you have to be registered with the Security Exchange Commission as an investment advisor. So uh, I am not an advisor, I'm a consultant, and I will uh, just briefly tell how I buy, sell, maybe exchange cryptos and some brief uh, knowledge on wealth building. So, um, so let's get into it. Uh, did you have any questions before I get into this? I have some questions afterwards. I mean, okay. I'm going to listen to what you got to say and then I'm going to follow through. Okay. That's what, what we do. That's our roles anyway. Okay. So what, <laughs> what I'll say first is um, what I'm going to talk about today is, of course, uh, the elephant in the room. Uh, some of you all may know about it. Some of you all may not. Uh, it's called Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So um, a little brief history on Bitcoin. It got started by a gentleman named uh, uh, Noto, um, Noto Samant let me pull up the clip because I can't pronounce his name right. So Toto, Soto Nakamatashi or something like that is the person that they said that started crypto. This was back in 2008. Um, so when it first came out, it was the, the cost of it was like 0 0.008 cents. Um, it was on the deep dark web. Um, so a lot of people started using it in exchange for uh, off the grid underground activities. Um, and as it became to the light, um, as time went on, um, the price and the value of it started to increase. Um, now, myself, I didn't actually get into Bitcoin until about 2017. So at that time, a Bitcoin was about $2,500. So I was late to the party, but well, at least so I thought, but I wasn't that late. So uh, my mom and I, we put some money together. We bought two coins and uh, we used part of that money to buy a lovely home that we're in now. So I'm not going to say how much we got now, but uh, we're doing pretty good. Um, we have uh, diversified and invested in other cryptos since then. So getting into cryptocurrency uh, for me was very big because I kind of I kind of felt like it equaled the playing field for the average uh, working class person to go from the employee quadrant to the investor quadrant. Now, I'll show you on my screen, um, if, if we can share here, I'll show you on my screen what the actual uh, quadrants are. So uh, Robert Kiyosaki um, is where I got this from. And if you can see this, uh, this is called the cash flow quadrant. So there's, there's four ways to produce income. So you have linear income, leveraged, and residual. So a lot of us are in the employee quadrant, and I'm still in that quadrant myself. Um, you have no leverage. Um, you can see that uh, it's five percent of wealth, and the amount of uh, the amount of active work determines your income. So you're trading time for dollars. Um, the next quadrant would be the self-employed quadrant. Um, you own a job, you have no leverage still. Uh, this is 95% of the population, they have their own business, but they're still trading time for money and the amount of active work determines their income. Then you have the person that is the business owner. You own a system and you have 95% of the wealth and you're able to leverage. You have people working for you. And so that equals the amount of money that you can make. And the quadrant that I'm trying to jump to, which is the investor quadrant, um, you own your investments. Um, you leverage, you know what I'm saying? And 5% of the population 
can say that they're investors. The money works for you. So you've taken your money and now it's actually working for you at this point. So that's where, you know, I am trying to get to myself. And along the way, I'm trying to educate as many people as I can. I'm trying to bring awareness. I'm just a messenger. Um, like I said, I don't know it all, but I'm willing to share what I do have uh, with anyone and just bring awareness to where we can level and change the playing field. You know, uh, like I said, being an employee, you know, you taught to study hard, get good grades, get a good paying job, and then you're safe and secure with those jobs and the benefits. But, you know what I'm saying, you're trading time for dollars. So, you know what I'm saying, and even as you move into the small business owners, you're self-employed and the solo actions, they operate by them, they operate by themselves. You know what I'm saying? So you're still trading time for dollars. You know what I'm saying? But as you move into the business quadrant, you know what I'm saying? You learn how to build businesses, you learn how to build systems, and you have people working for you. And then, like I say, ultimately you can take that money and then you can have uh people that have their money working for them. So uh, what what I what I try to do is just try to bring awareness and show people it doesn't take a lot of money to become an investor. Um, you can take small amounts and, and crypto has made it so it, it can really leverage and, and, and level the playing field with the average worker, working um, person. So you can take you know what I'm saying? A small amount. I mean, if if we would have invested a hundred dollars in crypt in uh, Bitcoin back in 2010, um, we'd be worth millionaires. There's a guy that uh, there's a story of a guy that took fifteen thousand bitcoins and brought three pieces. So fifteen thousand bitcoins a day is worth, as you can see, it's fifty thousand dollars. You know, that's seven hundred and fifty million dollars. So. That's what we try to bring awareness to. That's what we try to show people. Um, I'm dibbling and dabbling in, in, in options as well. So I'm learning that. Um, but crypto is my baby. Um, I do uh, a lot of trading, exchanging, buying, and just holding coins. Uh, we also have platforms that um, you can take to earn dividends on your crypto. And you know, there's a lot of companies that are pairing up with cryptocurrency. You got MasterCard and Visa now that you can use cryptocurrency just like everyday money, just like a debit card or just like a credit card. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, as far as my overview, like I said, I'm willing to help anybody. I try to tell um, people that are a lot younger, um, that's in their 20s, their 30s to be aware uh, of this so that when they get in their 40s, they have their money working for them. So, um, and money is not everything, but a lack of it is. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. Um, I've made some good partnerships and some good friendships along the way in crypto. Um, like I said, it's just a matter of time before I'm pulling all the way out of the employee quadrant and I will be jumping straight to the investor quadrant so that's wonderful that's wonderful can you hear me yes, yes. okay so i'm gonna ask you a few questions um sure. let me start playing here okay um so when it comes to people that are um wanting to get into this what it's like um, you would, I guess, if there is any, a the easiest, um, what's the easiest investment? I, I would say, so, if someone can get into. So hold on, I got I got kicked off. I don't know what happened, but I'm just getting back in. So what was your question again? My question is, um, what are some easy investments if there is such that people can get into um the easiest investments uh and i'll say platforms right now um i would say if you want to get into crypto investing the easiest one of the easiest platforms where you can at least own some crypto and then move to another plat move it to 
a cold storage wallet or move it offline um, because that's the whole key with crypto. You want to be able to control your assets. Uh, I would say it's Coinbase um, and, and you can do your research on this, but Coinbase.com, you let me let me let me say this. When you decide that you want to invest in cryptocurrency, please do your own research. It can save you a lot of time and a lot of lost money um, or at least consult somebody that um, has at least a somewhat of an understanding of cryptocurrency. But uh, we have the Internet. We're in the Internet age now, so you can pretty much Google any and everything. So I would advise you to start with a safe a safe platform to start with is either Coinbase or Gemini. Uh, Gemini is owned by the Winklevoss brothers. If if you don't know, they are the twin brothers that actually came up with the Facebook idea, and they sued Mark Zuckerberg. They won about fifty million, and they they put a lot of that money in Bitcoin, and thus they have a. I think they own maybe about 2% of all Bitcoin, something like that, something crazy. So um, I would say those two platforms also. Um, now, the difference, a lot of people are getting into Robinhood. Robinhood is a decent beginner's platform for crypto. You, The thing is, you do not own your crypto. You're buying the price of crypto in Robinhood at least with Gemini and Coinbase, even though you don't own your private keys, which is uh, the difference between having a cold storage wallet, you can at least take that cryptocurrency and then transfer it to a cold storage wallet. Um, the cold storage wallet looks like this. Um, it's called a Trezor. This is, this is the one that I use and the one that I like the most. Uh, there's a couple of other ones out there. Um, it's, it's called a Ledger Nano S is the other one, but it looks like this. So you get on a plane, you go anywhere in the world, you can take this with you. It's smaller than a phone and you could be holding millions of dollars right here. The good thing about this, if somebody takes this from you, lose it, as long as you've got your 12 C words, you can go to Africa, anywhere else in the world, order another one, use your 12 C words and you have access. So this is your bank right here. This is a bank in your pocket. Mm. So I advise anyone, if you get it into crypto, uh, like I said, you can start off with Coinbase, but you want to look at getting a offline cold storage wallet. Um, like I said, Trezor is the one that I like. Uh, it's, it's a pretty simple platform. Uh, it has very ease of use. And uh, you can store your coins there and take them anywhere in the world. Wow! Wow! Amazing! I love it. Yep. That is that's 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 the thing right there because you don't have to worry about having nothing, you know, and losing and all that. So that's yeah. that's right there. That's the plug. Take $1 million dollars to another country. Right. That right here. <laughs> right. Absolutely. That's it. Um. So you you do this you 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 work with people you know people call you like how how does it work when it comes to like say for instance somebody's interested right now what what they need to do um, well I I try to make myself accessible to people you know I don't I don't have a I'm like I said I'm a messenger I'm here to help people um, I don't have uh, a consultant fee. <laughs> Um, set up. So, you know, right now I'm, I'm willing to help whoever I can. Um, you know, you can hit me on Facebook, um, uh, messenger S S Russell, or you can, um, you can email me at SS tech 1977, um, at gmail.com. Um, uh, I am working with an individual that is, um, uh, into options real heavy we're putting a platform together where we're getting ready to start a school so uh the information at such time will cost <laughs> um to to attend the school so um that's me jumping into the uh s quadrant trading my time for dollars if i'm going to teach you uh what i know then I, i'm going to have to charge you for my time um 
but it won't be nothing, you know, outrageous. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm here to be a messenger and just help people. So, um, like I said, if, you know, they contact you through the radio show or uh, through the podcast, however, you know, I'm willing to help any and everybody uh, that I can. Y'all heard it. Y'all better hurry up, get in contact with him for the school open because, um, yeah, you can get it for free right now. I mean, and how, how why not, you know, get it from someone that's going to really take the time out to help you for free when everybody around here is always talking about money, 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 how they can get, you know, um, paid by being a, a help to someone else. So jump in before. Uh, <laughs> the fees come in. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and your time, your wisdom. Um, may God continue to shine on you. Bless you indeed. And um, thank you. Is there any any shout outs or anything? Some People can find you um, again. Let them know. I'm going to send a shout out to my man. Like I said, I, I dropped this line earlier. He knows who he is. I ain't going to say his name, but uh, we we got a we have a a, a mutual uh, Bitcoin millionaire friend that's on another part of this world, and uh, like I said, that's where he got the that's why I got the um, money isn't everything, but a lack of it is. So that's I got to give him credit for that. Um, shout out to uh, my man Brian uh, B deals uh, with the options. You know what I'm saying. We're gonna get it together, you know what I'm saying? And um, like I said, we just we're just trying to do what we can, do our part to help the community. Um, I feel like that God has given me this to help others. So I just want to be a blessing however I can, you know. And um, that's it. Like I said, SS Tech 1977 at Gmail, um S dot S Russell on Facebook. You can hit me on my inbox, you know, and just uh Wrap to me, we'll chop it up. However, I can help, I will. Bless you, bless you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right, baby. All Bye. right. <laughs> ah, that's my baby. All right, you guys. You guys, we're gonna go to commercial real quick. We'll be back with our next guest. Um, but for right now, I want y'all to hear what I, who I pick for the album of the week the album of the week goes to rough ends ah! rough ends they are they're back you guys they are back i am so excited for them david and dante you guys rock y'all i love you guys um keep doing what you're doing man it's a tie between the two like I love slow and I like um when I see you only see you only I think it's called only see you I believe but man when I say y'all gotta get the album please get the album let's bring RB real RB back rough ends <laughs> y'all see it y'all see it yes give it up yes give it up for Dante and David <laughs> Da Vinci Chi my partners i love y'all man congratulations to you guys i know things are getting ready to turn out great for y'all make sure y'all get the album so we're gonna go to a break real quick i'm gonna let y'all um you do you have the karaoke you have the car karaoke video uh, yeah i have no the car karaoke video they only give us a preview but the um the car I, I actually sent it I sent it to you by messenger. It's me in a car. That's my little um my little clip to wanna do a little car karaoke I'ma share with y'all. <laughs> I'ma share I'ma send y'all I'ma let let I'ma share with you guys and it was so crazy because the car karaoke um, the song that actually, when I turned on the, the the radio, it was just so timing. The time for it was really, really good. So I'm hoping that we can get it on so I could just share this real quick. Um, but that is something that I, I want to do. 
um, and share with you guys on the show. This is our first show, you guys. Thank y'all so much, whoever's tuning in. I thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it moving. If you are an artist or if you are just an individual that always wanted to sing, dance, rap, act, model, do comedy, play an instrument, please hit me up. Let me let's talk. Let's I'm giving you a platform to do your thing. You can share with me your story. You can share with me what you wanted to always do. You can share with me, you know, what it is that you are that you do. You know, if you want to sing a little bit, rap a little bit, walk a little cat walk, you know, pose for the camera, do a, a monologue, whatever it is that you want to do, man. I'm I'm here for you. I am this is this is the stars with Tamika Joy, and you're the star. So um here we go. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. It was so, it was so crazy. Actually, it was like the day before. It was like Sunday, I think, when I was I just turned on the radio and it happened to be, you know, that song at that time, and I just recorded it. But we miss you. Of course, it was not long ago, what, two days ago that we lost him. It's already been five years. It's so crazy. Already been five years. Miss him so much. Miss him so, so much. Shout out to um, the car karaoke, though. I love it. I'm going to have to do I'm, I think I'm going to keep that. I think I'm going to keep that one. So <laughs> we are going to um, bring in our second Oh, goodness. Our second guess, which I don't see. She, huh? My, my daughter, you see her? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, cool. All right. We are going to be bring. we're going to bring in our next guest, uh, Miss Treasure Tamika Joy. Um, she is called on stage T- Treasure Joy. Um, she graduated from Edison High School. She's a singer, a songwriter, a dancer, a model, an aspiring actress. Treasure is a hair model for Aquaba Hair Salon, an ambassador for Virginia's No Bully Walk. Um, Treasure's performed at the Monument in Washington, D.C. with guest speaker Tommy Ford. She's also performed at the Verizon Center for the Washington Mystics, the Capitol Arena, Warner Theater, opening up for Marsha Ambrosius. She's performed at the Convention Center, honoring all the DMV professional boxers in the DMV area, and made history at Georgetown University in one of their 2017-2018 Department of Performing Arts running show called Wind Me Up Maria, a go-go musical where every show was sold out, having an encore that ended by adding two shows. Uh, she has also been a uh, a model at the Macy's Fashion Spring Show in Springfield, and she loves showing off sm- her clothes and her smile. Treasure has also been a... Um, been crowned Miss UNM, Miss District of Columbia, teen, and wants to be an example to follow by working hard to leave a legacy. Treasure has worked with Dennis Lavelle, an acting coach and actor, director, casting director, Joey Paul Jensen. She's appeared in a few guest musical videos, Godfather of, of the Godfather of Go-Go, Chuck Brown, Block Party, Heather Rose, who's the lead singer of the 90s female group Pure Soul, It's Your Life, um, and Treasure holds one special 
Award to her heart, which is the 2018 Shirley, Shirley Chisholm Award from the Congressional Caucus of Black Women and Girls in Washington, D.C. She has been a guest performer at the annual luncheon for uh, a few years. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you Miss Treasure Joy. <laughs> Yeah. Well, hello, hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I won't complain. I won't complain. Nobody wants to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so tell me a little bit about you, uh, you Treasure. Um, I am currently 19 years old. Um, I am an entertainer, singer, songwriter, um, model, actress. Um, and right now I am trying to... Um, complete my EP album um, by the end of this year and, you know, throw it at the wall and see if it bounces back to me. Okay. Okay. So um, what are some of the artists? Who are the, some of the artists that you listen to? Um, I listen to a lot of artists, but my go-to artists right now are definitely Jasmine Sullivan, her, Summer Walker, and Janae Aiko, um, in my genre wise, but I listen to a lot of rap music as well. <laughs> okay, okay. Tell me, tell the people something that they don't know about you. Something that people don't know about me. Um, I mean, I don't know if everyone knows, but I have a one year old and he's so precious. And I love him so much, and he keeps me going. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Um, so what's something you want to do, you know, like basically and what's coming? What, what, do you, what are some of the things that you want to do? Um, so right now I'm trying to um, do promos on Instagram and get my Instagram growing um, so that I can start doing um, – being brand ambassadors for different companies um, and getting my modeling portfolio um, built a little bit more. Um, I also want to finish my song, like I said, for my EP so I can drop that um, and possibly get my blue check on Instagram. So there's a lot of things that I want to put up on my, my status quo, I guess, um, or what they say, your resume, so that um, you know I have more to offer. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Um, something you want to do before leaving the earth, what would it be? It was one thing. One thing to be a legend. <laughs> to be a what? Be a legend. Be a legend. Okay. What is a, okay. What is a consider that? What, what would you say when you say that? I want to leave not only a legacy for my family, but also for all people that are musically inclined. I want to leave a platform for people and um, get my sound, you know, uh, to be in sound. Like when I'm gone, my music won't go anywhere. Like I can always up with people, whether I'm here or not. Um, mm -hmm. And then also, you know, be there for my family financially, spiritually. Right. Speaking of sound, do you, do you have something that you, you want to let the people hear? Yes. Yeah, so I have one of my songs from my EP. Um, the song is called Change. Um, the song really touches me because I got it um, from a special person to my heart, Mr. Charles Dyson, rest in peace. But he believed in me and I can't let him down. So I definitely have to release this song as one of the songs of my EP. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. Let us hear it. Okay. Um, what do I do, Mom? Um, do I play it off my phone? Sure. Okay. Is this an exclusive? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> 
So when is that one coming out? So I'm ready I, for it. The, late, the people have all kinds of hearts. They like yes. <laughs> <laughs> they going crazy. I'm gonna drop it really soon. I, I think I want to. I think I want to drop it um, with two or three more songs. But um, if I can't make that happen in the next month or two, which I'm gonna, you know, probably end up doing. If not, I'm gonna drop it regardless. So you guys. Okay. Definitely, okay. and I want you guys to support and share it, and you know, repost it, send it to your grandma, your mom, tell your dog. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> to it, so you know. Okay, and where can the people find you? You guys can find me on all platforms at Treasure Joy. That's T R E A S U R E E J O Y. Yeah, and yeah, okay. just follow me, um, you know, yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much. I appreciate you. you. Good luck to you. The sky's the limit. Just keep your eyes on the prize. You can do whatever you want to do as long as you put your heart and soul into it. Yes, thank you will. again, Treasure. Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for having me. <laughs> We're going to take a commercial break, y'all. We'll be back with our next guest. Check out her video. She old school hip hop for real. Hip hop pioneer, half paint coming up next, y'all.
my sister Cassandra Jackson Middleton is an educator y'all she's a consultant and recording artist she has been teaching at risk children in the classroom for 24 years simultaneously she has been serving as an administrator of the alternative learning academy at Roosevelt High School for 12 years she has been doing from educating from supporting um, children with emotional, social, academically. Her goal is to empower children with the tools to become self-reliant, self-sufficient, civic-minded, and productive community members. Cassandra created We Are a Village, an educational consultant platform that focuses on how to support students of color through hip hop using rigor and relevance of empower, empowering the academy, uh, academic, social, and uh, emotional evolution. She has also created curriculums, initiated a support and, and empowers students, capacity and skills for learning through hip hop. Sorry, I got a little echo, guys, that threw me off a little bit. Cassandra is also known as Half Paint of the 1990s cult classic hip hop group, Son of Berserk featuring No Self Control. Their debut album release was Berserk, 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 produced by the legendary Bomb Squad. As the only female in the group, she is one of the only female MC hype chicks in hip hop. Son of Berserk, featuring No Self Control, released Well Thought Out, produced by the legendary Johnny Juice Rosado in 2010, and in 2012, she and the group toured and other classic hip hop artists on the Hip Hop Gods Classic Review Tour. The group released a collab collaboration project with the True Groove All Stars July 20, 2019. Her latest collaboration with True Stars, True Groove's All Star, Blood and Concrete, was released, released in June 2020. 
Cassandra has also served as a co-host on the Ja, the, the Pink Show, Ja and Pink Show, excuse me, and Hip Hop Internet show, which was featured on Chuck D's Public Enemies Rapstation.com. She has been a guest panelist on Chuck D's acclaimed radio show, and you don't stop. She also produced an educational webcast show called The Classroom, Hip Hop One-on-One with Dr. Blizzy, an educational show that discusses how to support children of color in the classroom. She is the member of the Hip Hop for Justice Coalition and co-host of the weekly podcast, Hip Hop for Justice. You guys, she's known as, as Half Paint. She released a single called Real Hip Hop during the pandemic as a homage to the pioneers of hip hop culture. The song bridges a gap between the young hip hop generation and the pioneers with the return of the boom bap and empowering history of the culture. Her social media information, I'm going to let her give it to you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up for half thing. Peace, everybody. How you doing, my sister? I'm good. I'm so good. How I'm you so doing? proud of you. Congrats on your show. <laughs> you are doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I, it's, it's that time. It's the season. It's definitely the season. Yes, he yes. Has, he has turned me and turned me and turned me, and I've just been grew, ground down in the ground just waiting for the time to just bloom. And so we are here. I'm so excited that you are here with me. My first show, my sister. I'm so honored and humbled. Thank you very what are you much. Doing? My thank you. Thank you. Salute. And salute I'm... to Treasure Joy. <laughs> the girl's doing a thing. <laughs> I'm over here grooving. Yes, yes man. Loving Got a shaky group. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So tell me what, what you doing now? What you what you up to? Well, right now, school's still in session. So while we're while we're in session, I'm still working. I, again, I I teach during the daytime, so I'm Miss Jane in the day. I'm the administrator of the alternative program of the same high school that I you know that I work in during the daytime. Um, and when I come home, I'm you know I'm, I'm asking some music, trying to you know get inspired, get more inspired, so I can write and uh, get some program um, projects off the ground, um, okay. and just keep pushing this you know song real hip hop. Um, yes. You I'm know, loving it. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving the opportunity. I mean, this is you know, this is not my first single, but um, it's been a while, right? And, you know, again, looking at the climate of what's happening and everything that's going on, um, it, you would think that it would it would um, it wouldn't stimulate you to be able to to think of writing a song in that in that genre of, of you know the upbeat boom bap. That's where we come from. You know, so I wanted to make sure that in dictating the narrative, young people understand where it started from, you know, mm-hmm. without preaching, really teaching at the same time. I call myself an edutainer because I want to make sure I educate and entertain at the same time. And, okay. um, you know, and, and in doing so, I just wanted to make sure that the young people see that there are such a variety of, of, of music and genres of hip hop because we created it to be able to express ourselves and give ourselves a voice when we did not have one. You know, this is, you know, this is an epic time for young people and they're showing up and showing out. And when I tell you I'm so proud, because for a minute there I was a little nervous, but I think that we got to see really um, what they're capable of, their resilience. And I'm, I'm, I'm so proud to see the evolution firsthand in the classroom, but also being able to see some of these artists um, step out on faith and follow their dream, but also use the platform to say something with substance. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I mean, you, you've been in it for quite some time. I mean, like, you know, in the back, back in the, you know, back then, how have you, how can you, I mean, what can you say in regards to then and now um, far as the the culture, um, and do you kind of what change do you see, or and if it is a change, what um, what is it? What does it look like? What what's the difference? I see an evolution in the culture, which is supposed to happen because if you don't grow, you die. But I see an evolution. 
I think the issue is the bridging of the gap between the pioneers and the youth and having them understand that you can't know where you're going if you don't know where you've been. Um, and that was the kind of the purpose of the song. So they have an idea of, you know, not so much judging them and telling them you can't talk about this, you can't talk about that, but giving them a, a prelude to where where they're who they're standing to show who's what shoulders they're standing on. You know what I mean? Because um what we see today is an evolution of the arts. You see the graffiti, now they've moved to graphic artists. You see the DJ here, now they become the producer. You see the MC, and now they're becoming more articulate and expressing their feelings and their emotions, which we, you know, we kind of, sometimes we, we, we tend to look at it as being self-destructive, glorifying some violence. But I think when we have, if we peel the onion, layers of the onion, we'll see that there are some emotional um, deficits that are there that we need to fill in those gaps to support them and give them and continue to nurture and cultivate their skills so that they can articulate themselves and then they won't result to the violence that we see that plays out. Because when you're when you're stifled, you tend to implode. And what we what we lack is um a lot of the opportunities to dictate our narrative so that young people don't really have um a reference to pull from. You know, sometimes they do. I mean a lot of them I I put on some some hip hop from you know the eighties or the nineties and they're like, oh I know that's my parents music. They realize, but and we tend to, to get offended because we're like, "What you mean?" Not like I'm old. But the reality is, is that it's, it's it's evolving, and we're guiding them and cultivating them in the right direction. I think that they would be able to really take this to another level, where the consciousness and the substance is still there. And we can still have fun. We can talk about partying. We can talk about you know, how we feel. We can talk about all those things, but it has a purpose and we're informing them and empowering them. So when they know better, they do better. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. I'm all for it. That's all. That's exactly, you know, why we always had that connection. We have the love for the music and we also have the love for the children. And um, so it's it, because it's so important. Um, how do you think we can get that village back. Uh, I know I'm I'm strong. I'm a strong believer on the village. And I know the village has been gone so, for quite some time, but I, I do see the evolution in regards to that. But I I think there's still, of course, some work to do. What what does that Absolutely. work look like? Well, I thought you should ask that because I do want I'm planning, sorry, planning on having a um, you know, a panel discussion on reactivating the village. Um, the importance of it is that we have to really look at how did we get to where we are right now. Aside from the civil rights movement, the, you know, all those movements and reform movements that we were a part of, or our parents were a part of, our grandparents were a part of, and trying to challenge the status quo and change the situations of where we were and where we are now. We have to also remember that we are in the fourth generation of the crack epidemic. And what that presented and what that created is what it took them 200 years to do, took them, they did it in 20 in a sense, which was destroy and dismantle the community and the village. We have to reactivate it by not even redefining our roles, but necess but really just defining them clearly and concisely, letting them and letting everyone know that as long as we stand in solidarity, it doesn't matter which path you take without judgment, you go, you do what you need to do. But when it's all said and done, mission purpose is to make sure that we're taking care of each other, we're reactivating and everyone plays their role and that we also empower each other and especially our young people. Um, with the young people, we have to make sure that we're empowering them by you know, cultivating their skills and, and, um, and, 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 and showing them pure, healthy relationships, no matter you know who you choose to love, just making sure that it's healthy, and at the same time, uh, making sure that once we de once they define or they decide what they want to do, we attach them to elders in the community who are already gifted in that sense, and that can and can well in, uh, continue to develop their skills and their capacity. So that this way, they become a master at the trade of whatever they want to do, whether it's music, whether it's um, carpentry, whether it's technical, whether it's you know, medicine, whatever the case may be, where they can job, they can shadow, they can job intern, they can do whatever they need to do. And we forget that 
those are the things along with spirituality is what kept us together. I was Absolutely. just thinking today that, you know, um, there's a difference, but you know, we're in the midst of a pandemic, but that's a distraction from what's been happening to our people because every day a black man is being lynched literally, literally and figuratively. So when we look mm -hmm. at the dynamics of how, you know, people can say that they love humanity and then turn around and take them out, you know, you look at the fact that, <clears throat> excuse me, all that fear, um, and those that fear God, they don't worry about the distractions that come around, nor do they worry about what's going to happen because they know that there's you know, something in the afterlife because they believe in a higher power. Those that fear man, those are the ones that get distracted. Those are the ones that panic. And those are the ones that give up their civil liberties and their rights to a person or to a being or to a, to a entity, whether it's government, politics or what have you, to actually support them and, and keep them safe. So, you know, we have to empower them with spirituality. We have to make sure that they understand there's a higher power, no matter who you follow, no matter what you call the name. We just know that there is something bigger than you. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, the community reactivates by making sure we look after each other. You know, Absolutely. doors are not, don't have to be necessarily be locked because we're, because we're policing each other. We don't need to call 911. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mama get there. You know what I mean? Let's get there. So does, you know, Cousin Earl. <laughs> And the, and the man on the, even, 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 even Ju, oh, June bug on the corner, he's dropping knowledge. You know what I'm saying maybe that, maybe that dime store one old knowledge, but it's still knowledge to tell you don't fall, follow on this path because you got to do better. And I think That's that as it. we, you know, as we continue to look at each person in our community as a valuable resource, then we will have a better understanding of what needs to be done. And we, our young people will start to respect, yes. connect with the elders because there is a gap yes them and until they understand until they understand that they've sacrificed and every day they may not be in those textbooks but they make history just by waking up every morning and under the conditions that we've been you know have been pressed upon us they will be able to understand that they stand on the shoulders of greatness they have a job to do and that they must continue to respect the elders and the ancestors to move forward that's it that's it i love it I love you. You know, I oh, I could just sit here and talk to you because you know you just fill me with all the wisdom because <laughs> I stand proudly on your shoulders. So, sis, I thank you so much. Where can the people find you? Where can they find you? Um, I'm on Facebook under Cassandra Jackson, but I'm also under Half Plane. I have a fan page under um on Twitter and um, what is it? Instagram, I'm um, half pint NSC, NSC for no self control. Um, and again, you can check out YouTube, subscribe to the Hip Hop for Justice um, YouTube channel, subscribe to the Classroom Hip Hop 101 with Dr. Buzzy um, channel, subscribe to the BU Influence at Influences um, uh, YouTube channel, and subscribe to the Rebel Soul Sister, Rebel Sister um, YouTube channel, as well as Son of Berserk YouTube channel, and you will find, and True Group All Stars uh, channel. You will find my videos. You will find stuff on um, the shows I produce. You will find you will find the co-hosting. You will find me in a little bit of everything um, <laughs> as I continue to build my brand as a solo artist, um, and also you know as um I, you know moving into the consultant piece of education and entertaining. Yes, yes. Y'all give a round of applause to my sister, hip hop pioneer, half paint, y'all. Man, I am so I'm so excited for you. I'm so proud of you. Y'all, this is just a definitely an inspiration of never give up. The sky's the limit. You're never too old. So if you are an artist, like I said, that always wanted to do something in music, dance, acting, modeling, hit me up. My information, um, you know, is, of course, Tamika Joy. Um, you can go or you can email me at um, stars. Um, what is it? I'm sorry. I, I can't even think right now. My mind is just so everywhere. Um, it's it's Tamika Joy um, at gmail.com. Have paint. Thank you so, so much again. I love you, sister. 
Thank, thank you sister. again. I appreciate so you. you, you get congrats. To I'm so proud of you and your family. <laughs> Y'all are doing it big. Families that play together, pray together, stay together. That's so it. You got to start with the, start with y'all. That's what he says. He says, start with, charity starts at home, right? There you go. <laughs> Indeed, indeed. That's thank it. you so much. Thank you, sister. We got to get together and do us a song, man. We're going to let them know. Did you just, did you just say that? And I did not forget Hip Hop for Justice will be coming down to help with the panel discussion for the DC Metro area yes. about Hip Hop and Go Go. We will definitely yes. do that. Yes. Absolutely. 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 All right. All right. And I love sure you. you. Everybody, make sure you go out and check out that Half Pint Real Hip Hop. Or YouTube, SoundCloud, MixCloud, Spotify, you name it, it's on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, that was my first show, you guys. I did it. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. We will see y'all not next week because the youth are taking over. I got the youth stars performing arts, which is my nonprofit. I didn't even get to sh shout them out. Jojo and Gabby, they're taking over my show. It's an uh, all youth show. They're going to actually host it and all the um, interviewers and the guests will be youth as well. So if there's any youth out there that want to get their shine on, make sure y'all hit me up. Make sure y'all go um, to um, Oh, I can't even think of their stuff right now. But I'm just all over the place. I'm just bubbled with joy. Y'all just make sure y'all hit me up. JoJo and Gabby, y'all see it. Those my two, yeah, those my two co-hosts, but they take over my show. And we're going to represent the youth next week. And then I'll be back the following week for the adults. Y'all have a good weekend. Bless y'all souls. I'll see you soon. 